A 500% increase in rideshare fees? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Mark's Travel Time. I'm Mark, and if you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you click my face in the corner to subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell icon way up there. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. It never ends. We are back to seeing what's happening now in Massachusetts. If you remember way back in, I don't know, January, February, Charlie Baker, the genius governor of Massachusetts, wanted to have a dollar surcharge, increasing from 20 cents. That's where I got the 500% number. But it could be even worse than that, because let's look at what they are floating now. Now they're saying they would have a fee that would go from a flat 20 cents, because that didn't pass, COVID kicked in, to 7% of the ride's total cost. So let's say a typical ride is $20. That would be, what, a buck 40? So that's a lot more than a 500% increase, isn't it? That's up to, um, let's see, if I, a 700% increase in fees. I think this is crazy that this is coming out of Massachusetts. They were instrumental in the American Revolution. And then, you know what they're upset about? Remember the Boston Tea Party in Massachusetts? 2% tax. Now they're going to have a 7% surcharge. It, it, this is absolutely insane. You know, I don't think that Massachusetts has done anything right, probably since the acquittal of the British soldiers in the Boston Massacre. And that was 250 years ago. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine having to be the attorney representing the British soldiers in the Boston Massacre when you have to have a whole bunch of Massachusetts colonials on the jury? And yet he did it. You know who that was, don't you? That was John Adams. Anyways, let's jump forward 250, almost exactly 250 years ago, last month, I believe. Um, let's jump ahead to what's happening right now. So, 7% of the ride's total cost. Now, why are they doing this? It is a classic case, once again, of robbing Peter to pay Paul. Their public transit system is a mess, but hey, rideshare is working great, so they're gonna dip into that pocket. I get so tired of politicians who do this. Rather than cleaning up their act and figuring out ways to make things sustainable, they just charge more, charge more, charge more. It's absolute lunacy. Lori Lighthead does the same thing in Chicago, and yet the voters put up with it. All right, so it says most trips, or 3% for rides with multiple riders. All right, now, when I go to Boston, when I, you know, land at Logan, for example, I am typically there by myself. So I have to pay roughly 133% more simply because I'm traveling by myself. Oh boy, there's equity for you. So 3% for rides with multiple riders or in zero emission vehicles. There's not a whole lot of those out there. And I don't know that I fully understand that either. We can have another talk about electric cars and zero emission vehicles. You know, maybe the car itself isn't putting out emissions, but when you plug that into charge it, where is that coming from? Probably a coal burning plant somewhere generating electricity. Anyways, plus an additional 3% surcharge for travel during peak commuting hours. All right. What are peak commuting hours in Boston? From 5 a.m. till 7 p.m.? I don't know. Boston's a big city. There's a lot going on there. I don't know what they would consider peak commuting hours. However, you're talking now a 10% surcharge. 10% just to use Uber and Lyft. So I am looking at uh, some editorials here and even people in Massachusetts, uh, some of those that are a little more enlightened and are paying attention to what's going on and actually crunch the numbers, are saying it'll barely make a dent 
in the projected hundreds of million dollars that the MBTA, public transportation, will require to survive in the coming years. Hundreds of millions of dollars, they say this may generate 56 million. Now, I hear what you're saying. Well, Mark, it's something, isn't it? Yeah, I guess, if that's the way you like to think. Rather than, than fix what's broken, keep throwing more money at it. I suppose that's an answer. Now, why should I be upset about that? Well, actually, I'm not because I don't live in Massachusetts. I rarely go to Boston. If I have to pay a few dollars, you know, a couple times a year, yeah, no big deal. No skin off my nose. But if I'm a daily commuter, if I'm someone that's trying to make my living by driving for Uber or Lyft or DoorDash, and now that's cutting into my income, perhaps it's taking away from a tip. If I, as a passenger, and I'm not saying me necessarily, I'm, I'm just using this arbitrarily. If I have a passenger, as a passenger, am paying 10% more, maybe I'm not as likely to leave a tip. I'm already paying 10%, and that's not going to the driver. That is going to the state, or I guess it's a commonwealth of Massachusetts. It's just such a waste, especially at a time when so many people are relying on rideshare to get to work, those of them uh, who are working. So many people are relying on rideshare. Maybe they lost their jobs, and this is what's bringing income into their family. So what are you going to do, Charlie Baker? You are going to raise fees. Absolutely astounding. Look at your history. Remember what happened way back when, 200 and what would it be now, 44 years ago, when your citizens were being taxed, taxed, taxed to the tune of 2%. Remember what happened? I don't know. I would love to hear what you have to say. As always, I encourage you to like and share my videos. Leave your comments down below. And once again, click my face in the corner to subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. And it'll show me that you care. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Travel Time.